This is the last video in the fractions module and we're going to learn how to change decimals to fractions. This is a really easy process if you know how to say the decimals a certain way. So if you were to say that this decimal here is 55 hundredths, you've automatically got your fraction. So this is 55 hundredths. Now it's not good enough to leave that like that when you you can simplify your fraction down. So here we can simplify by dividing both by 5. So that becomes 11 twentieths. Question 2, similar, similar. If we say this number is 179 thousandths, then we're... Uh, We've got our question half answered. Now, 179, I can't think of a number that goes into 179 and into 1000, so that's going to stay pretty much as is. Now this time, we could, we could do this one of two ways. We could say that this is equal to 4, and 395 thousandths or we could say that it is 4395 over a thousand I'll go with this uh, I'll go with this way of doing it for now so this is 4 we know that both these numbers will divide by 5 because one ends with a 0 and the other ends with a 5 and when you divide both of those by 5 you'll get 79 over 200. And I can't think of a number that goes into 79 and 200, so we, I'm pretty certain we've simplified that as far as we can go. Uh, negative sign's not really a big issue here. This number is can be said as 125 thousandths. So this is negative 125 on 1,000. Now, I know that we can divide both of these by 125. Um, you may not do that, though, in one go. You may divide by 5 top and bottom and then divide by 5 again and then divide by 5 again. That's okay as long as you get to the right answer, but... I guess I'm using years of experience here to just divide by 125. So this is minus 1 over 1,000 divided by 125 is 8. So the answer is negative 1 eighth. And the last one, looking at this number, this is tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So this next place value must be ten thousandths. So that number is 5 ten thousandths. And we can divide top and bottom by 5. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 into 10 goes twice with those three zeros hanging on. So that's 1 two thousandth.